Well, the Go Green at Your Library series continues this month with a special showing of the film The Age of Consequences uh, by Jared P. Scott. This is coming up on Tuesday, March 27th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. It's co-sponsored by the Quincy Climate Action Network, QCAN. David Reich and Sarah Belford from QCAN are here to tell us a little bit about what QCAN is and about this particular movie. So welcome to both of you. Thank you so much for coming Thank by. Thank you. Really appreciate the opportunity. Sarah, nice to meet yeah. you for the first time. Yeah. David's been here before. Yeah, thank you for having us. You're welcome. Maybe we should start with, uh, for folks who aren't aware, David, uh, Q can, a uh, little bit of background about the organization, how it was formed, and what its, what its mission is. Well, we've existed for five and a half years. Um, uh, we wanted, people in Quincy wanted to form an environmental group that concentrated pretty narrowly on uh, causes of climate change, and that's why we're the Quincy Climate Action Network. So we're uh, interested in promoting energy efficiency, energy conservation, and the production of renewable energy um, in the city and the state, and, and in promoting uh, government policies that, that um, um, work in that direction. Mm -hmm. Can you point to maybe some past successes or at least uh, oh, sure. uh, programs? Sure. Yeah, yeah uh, we uh, brought the uh, Solarized Quincy uh, sure. program uh, here and provided uh, about 90% of the volunteer energy for that program. And that resulted in, uh, I think it's about 165 uh, roofs uh, with solar uh, panels on them now uh, in, inside the city of Quincy, mostly residential, but also some uh, businesses. Um, we uh, convinced the city to hire an energy manager who's mm -hmm. now uh, working very hard to uh, reduce uh, use of energy by uh, city government. And uh, she's had uh, a good deal of success in uh, the few years uh, since she was hired. So I would say those are two. Sure. About how many members right now in the network, would you say? Uh, 25. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. And room for more, I'm guessing? <laughs> we are always looking for more sure. members, and uh, we uh, welcome uh, uh, the public to our meetings. Uh, currently, we're meeting at the uh, um, Manor Community Health Center on C Street, oh, okay. and we meet on the second Wednesday of the month at 7 p.m. Oh, okay, very good. Sarah, can you tell us a little bit about how you got involved with QCAN and why? Well, I actually met QCAN at a um, Quincy Lunar New Year oh. festival several years back. Uh, was walking around at the tables and I, I saw Quincy Climate Action Network, saw they were doing great things with promoting renewable energy sources and um, con energy conservation and all that. So I had been looking to get more involved locally. Mm. I've, um, I've worked for international organizations and uh, worked on justice issues and environmental issues around the world, but I feel like local action is also so important. So I had been looking for something like that and um, started attending meetings and quickly became a a member and then a board member for mm -hmm. a couple of years. So um, it's been amazing to see how much can be done with a fairly small group of people. Mm. Um, I, I did want to note that we also have a uh, active Facebook page and we have 150 people who follow that. Okay. So uh, while we don't have as many formal Jews paying members at this point, um, we there is a lot of interest in Quincy for um, the issues that we're concerned about. Okay, I know they have a, a good website too that folks can uh, can look at too, and then just get some information, background information, and maybe some absolutely. Yeah, yeah. QuincyCan.org. Right, right. Uh, and one of those uh, initiatives is bringing this movie. Um, to Quincy, the age of consequences, um, the impacts of climate change, and uh, it sounds like it, not only the the environmental impacts, but the societal impacts. I guess also is what this is all about. Um, David, talk, give us a little bit about background it's, of this. It's a very different. Uh, yeah, many movies have been made uh, about climate change, but this is a very different look uh, at the topic. It's not from the point of view of politicians. It's not from the point of view of industry lobbyists or environmental lobbyists or even scientists. It's from the point of view 
of military officers and national security professionals, people who worked at the Pentagon. Mm. And uh, these are people who are very alarmed about climate change. Uh, they see it as a threat, at least on the level of terrorism. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're uh, taking steps. They're, they're uh, factoring uh, climate change into their planning. Obviously, you show the movie. Uh, is there going to be a talk before or after? Yeah, well, there'll be a brief introduction. Okay. Um, and uh, um, uh, concerning the movie, but mostly uh, encouraging uh, people to get active uh, um, in the areas uh, that QCAN is working in, to mm -hmm. uh, asking people to, uh, if they haven't already done so, to sign up for an energy audit mm. uh, and to think about. Uh, uh, renewable energy for their homes and and things like that, and also, as uh, we did just now, well, uh, uh, letting people know that they're welcome uh, to our meetings and that we're always happy to uh, uh, welcome new members. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. What, um, Sarah, are some of the priorities for QCAN for 2018? What uh, are some uh, you know established events coming up, or, or at least mm -hmm. uh, ideas that you have for the future? Right. We're continuing these educational events. Mm -hmm. um, that's an important part of our mission. So we have this film coming up uh, in April. There'll be another movie showing um, here at the library okay. again, uh, a movie called Wasted, but you can hear more about that uh, later on. Okay. And, uh, and we're th thinking about organizing another type of event that can bring representatives of the community together to discuss aspects of climate change and how that affects Quincy, mm. uh, what we can be doing here um, to be prepared. Um, first, first to mitigate the effects of climate change, but, but also perhaps to adapt because we know it's already happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw some uh, yeah. pretty historic flooding not, mm -hmm. not too long ago, right, uh, right up in the North Quincy Absolutely, yeah. right, and it affected the Broad Meadows that School yep. uh, very much, yep. uh, the school bus lot. These were some of the things that, um, that the, what's it called? <laughs> um, there, there was some work done a couple years ago for uh, coastal resilience mm -hmm. um, with uh, MAPC, and there were maps produced, and, and some of this flooding was quite foreseeable and, and was foreseen. And uh, the question is, what, what more can we really be doing? Um, not just being aware of it, but what actions can we take to um, you know, perhaps change how we do things to, to be prepared for that. Sure. Um, but we, we do have regular meetings with city councilors and with the mayor. Um, some of our members are also on the mayor's uh, climate change committee, um, if I'm saying that right. And, and so we're always looking for initiatives that we could promote for um, steps the city could take to um, uh, you know, to move in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know you've had presentations at the uh, the farmers market uh, in years past. Mm -hmm. There was a an electric vehicle demonstration uh, just last year um, as well, so, and uh, the energy audits that you mentioned um, as well. I know that the um, mm -hmm. the uh, folks that are there are presenting that information uh, for folks to sign up for those as well. So mm -hmm. folks should be aware and and follow you on Facebook certainly, and and come to this movie presentation. So anything else you'd like to to add? Um. Uh, just that uh, at a time uh, when uh, we have a national administration in Washington that considers climate change to be a hoax that was cooked up by the government of China, uh, we also have a military establishment that uh, disagrees pretty sharply and is uh, planning f uh, for uh, accelerating climate change. And uh, I uh, think people uh, should come and see this movie and decide uh, uh, who's more credible. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, they can do that again. It's uh, Tuesday, March 27th, 7 to 8.30. Uh, go Green at your library series. The, uh, sh the movie is The Age of Consequences, and it's co-sponsored by the Quincy Climate Action Network and the friends of the Thomas Crane Public Library. Thank you, David Reich and Sarah Bolton for coming by. Really appreciate the both of you for being here, and, and good luck with your mission in the future. Good to be with you, Joe.
Thank you very much. If you'd like to get more information about this or any of the programs at the library, their website, thomascranelibrary.org. We built society on this assumption of climate stability, and that stability is changing. All these things we take for granted, they're not just givens anymore. A just released report from the Pentagon climate change and the challenges it's creating for the military. The latest report says global warming is driving weather to new levels of extremes. 99% of my intelligence told me there's an ambush waiting for me. I don't get to say, yeah, but there's that 1% that says there's no ambush. So the hell with the other 99%. As a member of the United States military in 30 plus years of service in uniform, climate change is what we call an accelerant to instability. If you have an area that is already unstable and then has the additional challenge of water shortages or food shortages or a disaster that makes people move, then you can start seeing conflict situations. Serious, deadly conflict, a full-blown civil war. If we look around the world today, we can already see conflict and climate in play right under the headlines that we're reading. A new study finds climate change exacerbated the worst drought ever in modern Syria as a consequence of human interference. Fragile social systems just need one more shock to tip them over the edge into social breakdown, into war. Failure to think about how climate change might impact our globally interconnected system is a failure of imagination. The flip side of the climate threat is the energy and resilience opportunity. As a soldier, we're always looking to have an edge on the future. We can pay now, pay later. <laughs>